Feather Fam, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the much requested, long awaited cage reaction series once again. So lots of people will watch my cage reaction videos and then go to DM me pictures of their cages. Um, and I wasn't planning to do another cage reaction video, but there's been so many requests that I decided to do another one. So before we get into this video, I just wanted to remind you guys that in my description, there is a link to my website, ellenthebirds.com, where you can find my Elle's Avian Essentials kits. And if you buy one of those kits, you get everything you need to set up your own amazing cage. You get all the perches and toys and stainless steel bowls and ladders and all the things like that. So I recommend that you guys go check it out if you want an amazing cage setup. All right, so now onto the video, let's go ahead and get started with seeing your cages. So this first cage is for two cockatiels named Mokai and Boba. And it says this cage is used for sleeping in and during the day they free roam in a bird proofed room. So here's just the cage. Um, so the size of the cage I'd say is a good size for a sleeping cage. If they were spending more time during the day in that cage uh, for two cockatiels, I would suggest something bigger just because two cockatiels can take up a lot of room. Uh, but since it's just a sleeping cage, it looks like a good size. There's a lot of great perch variety in this cage. Lots of different size perches. You can see this perch is really nice and wide and then you've got some thinner perches and they're all natural wood. So really good perches. And also you've got some good uh, toys in there. And I can see there are more toys on the outside of the cage than the inside of the cage, but I'm assuming that's because the birds are not gonna be spending much time inside the cage. And these are really nice toys as well. Um, this toy has mahogany pods and finger traps and then there's a shredding ball inside the cage and You've got this like cup with things coming out of it. Really nice natural shredding toys. And then on the outside, you've really decorated it. Like you've got lots of perches on the outside and um, toys on the top of the cage. So that was just the picture of the cage itself. But then there's also a really, really cool um, outside the cage setup as well. What I can see is that you've taken, it looks like uh, grates and hung them up on the wall and used those to hang perches and toys from. And I have seen other bird owners do that. And I think it's really cool because you can have perches coming out of the wall without actually drilling them into the wall. So yeah, really cool setup. Um, you've got foraging toys. You've got this um, foraging box toy and the basket toy. Um, there's all kinds of natural shredding toys outside the cage. And then you've got this really cool tree stand. It looks like a DIY tree stand right next to the cage. And then you've got yet another tree stand. This one looks bigger and I can see the little cockatiel. So cute. And it looks really, really nice. It looks like you might've made that one as well. There's lots of toys. And then in the background, I can also see this really nice foraging puzzle. And there's also a little tabletop play stand. Overall, I think this is a really, really nice setup and your birds have a great life. I love your bird room. I love your outside the cage setup. Really creative. All right, so this next cage is for a cockatiel and a green cheek conure. Um, and it is one cage, but it has a divider in it. So this cage does not come as a divided cage. They do sell divided flight cages. Um, and so this person just kind of DIY'd a divider and uh, put some kind of metal uh, sheet, like some kind of wire in between the two sides of the cage. And I do have several concerns with this. Um, one is that I don't know the material being used, um, what kind of wire this is, because it does look like some kind of rusty brown color. If you're doing any kind of DIY enclosure, then I would really just suggest sticking to stainless steel wire because you know that's safe. But also aside from the metal being a potential hazard, um, another thing is that this divider is not very protective. Um, which means that if one bird, let's say the cockatiel is climbing on that divider, cause birds will obviously climb the bars of their cage, that green cheek still has access to that cockatiel. So it can be a problem with them nipping toes of other birds. And then my other concern that I have with this divided cage is that obviously the space is being cut in half for each bird. And it is the horizontal space that's being cut in half. And as you know, birds do need a wider space and it's more important for them to have more horizontal space than vertical. But it does say that this person cannot have two cages. So if you don't have enough space for two cages, what I would suggest is actually getting one of these stacked flight cages. And each bird will still be getting the exact same amount of horizontal space as if they would be in a full-size flight cage. But now moving on to the actual contents of the cage, 
you've got some really nice toys and good perches. You've got perch variety. Um, these are natural wood perches and I really like those like climbing nets that you have on the sides of the cage. I would probably put a few more toys in here, um, but overall the setup is pretty nice. I like the perches and toys. Um, one thing I noticed is that the food bowls for some reason are at the bottom of the cage. The only thing with that is if the bird is sitting on a perch above those food bowls, they can poop in them and that would obviously not be a good thing. Um, so. I probably would not keep the food bowls at the bottom of the cage, but if that's what your birds prefer and you've moved the perches away from that area so they can't poop in them, then that's fine too. All right, so the next entry is actually two cages. One is for two budgies and the other is for a green cheek conure. And here they are, oh, they're so cute. These are adorable birds and I love how they all get along. So both cages are really good size. They're both flight cages and I can immediately see this is a really cool outside the cage setup as well because look at those natural branches being clipped onto the side of that cage. So that's like a natural enrichment item. They can chew on those leaves as long as it's a safe plant. I don't know what kind of plant that is, but um, I'm assuming it's a safe plant, but those kind of things are really, really fun. And these are the kind of things that parrots would obviously be encountering in the wild. They'd be chewing on real branches and real leaves. So I really like that. And you've also got a tree stand as well, so I love tree stands. Um, but then onto the cages. Both cages are really nicely stocked with perches and toys. All the perches are evenly distributed throughout both cages. There's lots of natural wood perches and perch variety. You can see um, there's some perches that have lots of branches coming out of them. And some branches are thick and some are thin. And there's some thicker perches and um, really nice toys. These are all really good natural shredding toys. There's Planet Pleasures toys in there I can see. There's some preening toys. Overall, this is a really, really good setup. I think these birds are really happy and I don't have anything to say that you can improve upon here. So the next cage that was submitted is for two budgies. And here they are, they're both so cute. I love, I love that lime green color. I, I absolutely love budgies that are that color. So this is their cage and um, I noticed that the cage itself, this is one of those tall and narrow cages. So it doesn't have a lot of horizontal space, um, but that is ultimately the space that the birds are gonna be using the most. This cage looks like it's about 18 inches wide. Um, one thing is that these budgies wings are clipped, so they might not be uh, benefiting from the horizontal space quite as much yet. But when those flight feathers do grow back, um, I suggest upgrading the cage to a full-size flight cage, which would be around 30 or 32 inches wide. Really with any cage, the bigger the better. So inside the cage, I can see there is a mixture of some dowel perches with also natural wood perches and a platform perch. And then there's also a rope perch in there. So I think that's a good variety. Uh, dowel perches aren't always terrible to use if you have a lot of other different perches inside the cage. They're not going to hurt your bird's feet if they're just one of many perches in the cage. So if they're using all different textures and different sizes, and there happens to be one dowel perch in there, they're really not gonna cause any harm. At first I thought the um, uppermost perch near the top of the cage was a dowel, but I think it's just a straight uh, java wood perch because I can tell from the way it attaches to the cage. If you find that the birds are spending a significant amount of time near the top of the cage on that perch, then maybe I would swap out that perch for another natural wood perch that has more variety in it. Um, but otherwise, this is a pretty good uh, perch variety. Um, in terms of the toys, I do see some shredding toys in there. Um, there's also a few plastic ones. There's some wooden blocks. I think this is pretty reasonable. Uh, the one thing is that I do see a mirror at the bottom of the cage and uh, mirrors are definitely not something you wanna have in your bird's cage. They can become obsessed with the reflection. They can think it's another bird and then they can start to regurgitate for the other bird, thinking it's their mate and they can become all hormonal and protective over it. So I would suggest taking out the mirror. I would probably put some more toys near the top of the cage because it does look like there aren't many toys near those top perches. Um, and that's where the birds are gonna be spending more of their time. Um, another thing is that this person also decided to put their food on the bottom of the cage. Um, budgies do like to forage on the ground. They are ground foragers naturally, but with a cage, um, there's, there's all kinds of perches that are stacked and 
they could pretty easily poop in that food dish because in this cage especially, it's narrow, so the perches are gonna be more closely stacked. When it comes to ground foraging, typically my budgies really like to forage on the floor and I have their foraging trays on the floor. All right, so this is going to be the last cage I'm gonna look at for today. Um, I'm doing a bit of a shorter video this time just because I've done a lot of these cage reactions and they can get a little bit redundant. So this cage is for, it looks like three budgies and look how tiny those little birds look in this cage. It is a really nice sized cage. It's got so much space. I think this might be the preview extra large. Um, so really nice size cage. And then I see that right beside the cage is the air purifier, which is great. I really do suggest having an air purifier if you have birds because they do have such sensitive lungs and they also produce a lot of waste that will get into the air. So that is a great feature. So the main thing that I think you can improve upon with this cage is that there's so much space, but a lot of it is unused space. There's not that many toys in there. I can only really see, it looks like two toys. And this cage has space for so many more toys and more perches. Um, I think this cage could fit a lot more and there really just needs to be more things to do in there. So more shredding toys, um, some foraging toys, and um, more natural wood perches, of course. Um, these are really good perches though, the ones that are in there. I like the um, perches that hang onto the top of the cage and there's lots of other uh, branches coming out of them. I think those are really cool. I don't know what they're called. So yeah, just really focusing on utilizing that entire cage space so the birds use all of it, um, adding more enrichment like different toys, um, different textures of toys and um, a big variety. Um, but otherwise, it's a great cage. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my website, ellenthebirds.com, in the description, where you can find my Elle's Avian Essentials kits so you can set up your own amazing cage for your bird. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Check out my Amazon store as well. And I will see you guys in my next video.